Oh boy, I sound like a horse. I just got back from Way Home, which is this like, outdoor music festival, and funny enough, I went there with a really sore back and camping on the hard ground somehow fixed it. Like, look at this mobility that I have right now. What's up, everybody? So today I'm making something fun. I grew up on these things called fruit roll-ups. Basically what happened was I bought a watermelon. <laughs> I know, you're probably like, where the hell are you going with this, Dan? <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do today is take the watermelon that I bought right here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own fruit roll-ups at home. No, 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 cut, cut. Unfortunately, I tried to make watermelon fruit roll-ups, but there wasn't enough pulp. I guess I blended it too fast and I just made it really liquidy. Let's see if we can make watermelon jello. So that's what this video really is. We're making watermelon jello. Now I bet you guys are wondering, damn, well how did the outcome of this go? Now to my understanding, you can do this with multiple different things. I know you can do it with berries, uh, <laughs> That's, that's pretty much it. I, I haven't really looked too, too far into it, but I'm gonna be making it today with a watermelon. But without further ado, let's get started. This was a honeydew melon, that joke would be bomb. <coughs> Good God. So the first thing you're gonna need is a cutting board, a watermelon, a knife, a blender, a strainer. There are little things here and there you need like wax paper, a cookie sheet, and an oven, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't include those in the list, to be honest. First things first, cut open. This watermelon. Okay, so we got a cookie. Not This is not a cookie sheet, Dan. This is a cutting board. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I honestly don't know if I've ever cut a watermelon in my entire life. I've seen it in the movies and stuff. Also, can we agree that this is one of the most traditional patterns of a watermelon? Like, you just, I almost died. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good. We're just gonna put it right into the blender. Let's just do that. Whoa, we got a squirter. I have a policy in my house. No watermelon left behind. Now these are great summer snacks. I can't, I can't even sell you that line. I was gonna be like, guys, these are great summer snacks. Well, I mean, I'm sure they are, but I, let's be real. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I wouldn't personally make this before I go on a hike. I would rather just, uh, honestly, there's these little cookies that have chocolate on the top. I would probably bring those, but like... Oh! You gotta put the watermelon inside there. Let's get to the next step. Wow, that is the most satisfying sound in the world. We're gonna need a bigger bowl. We don't have as much pulp as I was hoping we would have. This isn't good, guys. We're just left with an ass and a watermelon juice. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a kind of an experiment here. We're gonna take jello packets, put it in this watermelon juice, this is just watermelon water, and see if we can make watermelon jello. Instead of boiling water for the jello, I'm gonna boil watermelon water. As that boils, we're gonna add our jello. So we're going with lime. Just like that. Boiling watermelon juice, which is turning brown. Just to show you guys on my white counter what this looks like, I'm gonna show you the color. Literally looks like hot sauce or like plum sauce. Now we're gonna put it in the fridge and let it cool. Okay, like four hours later, this thing is ready to go. And give it a shot. I mean, all it is is watermelon and lime, right? That one actually wasn't that bad. That is the weirdest bowl. It's like every four scoops, you get like a decent one. Not like an amazing one, but like decent. Anyways, there you guys have it. That was kind of an experiment. Originally, I was gonna make um, fruit roll-ups, like organic, like here's some fruit. Here's some organic fruit roll-ups. But it really didn't turn out that way because I didn't get enough friggin' pulp. I have a lot of jello for some reason, and I have no idea why. I think sometimes I go to the grocery store and like I'll go down an aisle and it's almost like how, you know when you have a favorite shirt and you're like, you know, I never wear this shirt anymore. But I should keep it in case one day I need like an old shirt to wear. Perfect example. So about two months ago I ordered pizza from 
a pizza shop. And they had this deal. They're like, you get a medium pizza, you get drinks, dipping sauce, whatever, and for like 10 extra dollars, you can get your own pizza bag. And I'm like, whoa, I need that. Guys, I have a pizza bag and I, I was literally, here it is right here. Like legit, like what they deliver pizzas in. I got this out of impulse. But what's funny is that I can't get rid of it. Not because it won't fit down the garbage chute or anything, just because I feel like maybe one day I'll be invited to like a barbecue and they're like, hey Dan, can you bring a pizza? And I'm like, yeah, yeah I can because I've got a pizza insulated bag. It's one of those things. Anyways, back to Jello. I'll go down the aisle with Jello at the grocery store and I'll be like, hmm, you know what I love to eat? Jello. But you know what I never make? Jello. So it's this weird like equation of just never making jello but wanting it. I don't know, it's weird. Maybe you guys followed me there. This is maybe a different style of video I've never done before. Like in experimenting. What we can grab from this video as a team is if you have lime jello lying around and a watermelon, don't mix the two. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Danocracy and you guys can send me stuff on Twitter at the Danocracy. Maybe other concoctions that are good together. I think I just thought of a new YouTube series. Tweet me them at the Danocracy and we can uh, go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.